So I've just uploaded uh, the firmware to this new uh, Polar Shield or uh, Polygraph machine. Uh, it hasn't got a case or anything, and uh, oh look, the touchscreen doesn't work. So this is quite a common problem. Um, what I'm going to do is show how I fix it, uh, and it really all, always works. Um, I've got a screw here, which is just attached to um, my um, shelving system here, so I happen to know that this screw goes through the wall into the uh, metal studding, which of course is earthed. Uh, any other earth point also would, would work just as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, you're not going to be able to see this very well, but uh, touch the housing here. Well, no, first of all, unplug it, and then touch the housing here. So this is a, an earth surface here, and with the other hand, I'm going to give the uh, uh, touch the the screw here. So that should discharge all of this static electricity. And now I'm going to plug this back in. And we will find that miraculously it is it is uh, it is come back to life again. And there, it actually did work. I'm really pleased about that. And no little noise you can hear. It's just uh, it's just these motors. So this is part of the test rig I've got. There's a couple of motors rigged up there. There's a servo. Uh, I just run through and make sure the motors can. Um, can lock, make sure the pen lift works, and then um, plug an SD card in, make sure the reset works, Just the speed of this so it sounds a bit less grainy. That is just these these adjustment pots here. Something. Now I know that can work. This doesn't prevent it from having the uh, dead touchscreen problem again in the future. Um, you don't really get the dead touchscreen problem if you've got a case on the machine, so it's something to do with static. Um, not quite sure what it is yet, I've never really quite got to the bottom of it, uh, but that's the fix anyway.